Welcome, this is Panelview Standard Operator Terminal using Panelview 32 software. This is Alan Bradley's Human Machine Interface, HMI. This course is written by Vincent Woods Wedlick. It's an industrial business and technology training institute incorporated course. This course is not for resale. This course can only be sold by Vincent Woods Wedlick. There's no other stores other than eBay and eCrater and maybe Amazon that you can buy this from. Uh, on eBay, it's PLC Training is the store. And uh, on eCrater, it's PLC Training um, as well. What this course covers, uh, first we'll go over an overview of the panel view screens. Then we'll go over a communication overview. Then we'll do panel builder basics. We'll move into working with applications and screens, and then we'll do working with objects. Next, we'll move into uh, creating push buttons, creating control list selectors, creating data entry controls, creating screen selectors. We'll create bar graphs, indicators, and numeric displays. And then finally, we'll create some message displays. Then we'll move into using global objects. We'll create some alarms, add some graphics, format objects and text, using the text editor, working with tags, and then finally terminal and communication setup. And that'll be the end of the course at that point. Okay, when you initially open up the Panel View 32 software, you'll get this screen and it'll ask you to create a new application or open existing applications. Um, and this is, or you could do an upload an application from a panel view terminal or download an application to a panel view terminal. So if you're trying to upload, you're trying to get the software from the panel view, you would upload it to your PC or your laptop. If you want to have written your, your, panel, your software program from the panel view and you want to download it to the panel view, then you would download an application. So we're going to create a new application. Okay, so now we named this application PB900 Color. The, see, we've selected PB900 Color. Protocol would be DH45 and we want a touch screen. We don't care to have the multi-language support and we don't care to have this as our default selection. It created the part number 2711-T9C3 and that's the PB900 Color Touch with firmware 4.10-4.XX. you've done that, the screen pops up, and um, this is exactly the way one of those touch screens would look. It's physically the same size, so when you drop in different objects like push buttons or messages or bitmaps and stuff, you actually can uh, place it just the way you would want it, see it on the screen. So if, if for some reason your OIT that you see in the panel doesn't match what you see on the screen that you, after you've created it, then you've definitely created the wrong screen, so you went ahead and um, exit out of this and say, uh, you know, file new and start all over. Okay, so on the left-hand side of the screen, uh, by clicking, clicking the plus symbols on the left-hand side of the screen, you can open up the folders. Um, systems has description, print only objects, exceptions, text editor, and text and tag editor. We'll talk more about these as the course progresses. Note at the bottom in the screens folder, we've only created one screen called screen one. This is the, this is the screen that you are physically looking 